some of this. How about some of this? How about some of this? now.
must endure.
us every... one. Fear not, Princess of Dalmasca. We, Ocuria, have chosen you. And you alone. and Dalmasca, we see your heart desires power, and power most holy shall we grant. Seek you the sun crisp, slumbering star. In tower on distant shore it dreams. The mother of all Nethesite, the source of its unending power. The Dynast King, his fellow shards, coarse trinkets cut from sun crisp's light. Such power exists? In times that are long passed away, we sought to save this Ivalice, and chose Wraithwall, the Dynast King. He took the sword and cut the crisp. Three shards he took from its gilt grasp, and so became the Dynast King. His words and deeds run through your veins. That's why I was given it, the Sword of Kings. The treaty held with kings of old is but a memory, cold and still. With you, we now shall treat of you, to cut a run for history's flow. Now take this sword, this treaty blade, a curian seal, mark of your worth. Cut deep the crest, and seize your shards. Wield Dinah's king's power. Destroy Vanar. But Vanar? Vanar's an Acurian, a being like you. Vanar is a heretic! <sighs> the Nethersite is ours to give to chosen bearer, or to none. The heretic trespassed and set the rose of knowledge in man's hand. With imitations they profane. It is anathema to us. We give you now the stone and task. Administer judgment. Destroy them all. Judgment? <gasps> Destroy them all? The Empire? The hues ever skew, histories weave. With haste, they move through two short lives. Driven to there by base desires. Toward waste, and wasting, on they run. Undying, we are curious like the path for wayward sons of man. Oft did we pass judgment on them, so that Ivalice might endure. Eternal, we are history's stewards. To set the course and keep it true. The Chosen is our hand, our fist. To let live some and crush the rest. Princess, you have been chosen. Take revenge against those who stole your kingdom. Fulfill your role as savior. Attain to your birthright. What's with these Akuria? What gives them the right to tell you what to do? Will you take revenge, as they ask? Huh? We could not see them, but we heard the Akuria speak. They may be gods, but we are the arbiters of our destiny. Your Highness, I am against this. The Empire must pay, but destruction... Um... 
Does anyone know what happened to Dr. Sid? Wasn't he saying he'd be here? He should have arrived by now. And I should have realized by now. He's not coming. He laid out the bait and we bit. Remember what he said? He wanted Ash to get the stone. He wanted that all along. That's why he flaunted his nethersite and reeled us in with his stories about Ghetto Vagan, all to bring Ash to the Arcuria. But wait, if we got a hold of the nethersite, wouldn't that be bad for the Empire? Maybe he wants to see what happens when foes with nethersite collide. That'd be just like Dr. Sid. I will search out the Sun Christ. History is built by our hands. That's his favorite line. He'd never stand by and watch the Acurious Stones shape things. So, he was talking to Venar all along. He wasn't mad at all then, was he? Restore Dalmaska's sovereignty and make our amends with Lady Ash. It's the only way to avert war. It is a war of necessity. Your Lady Ash herself is bent on it. She desires it above all else. She will not rest until her revenge is full wrought. I fear you misread her intent. She would sooner shun war than embrace it. You are young, Larsa. And you presume beyond your ken. Then let us look closer. Judge Gabranth. I would have you seek after the Lady Ash and judge whether she makes overtures of peace or war. Yours shall be the eyes of the Empire. And should I espy war, I am to put her to the sword. Is that your wish, Excellency? It will not come to that, I am sure. I have faith in her. Faith in you both. On you, Gabranth. Shall I wager all our fortunes? As you will. That so sweet a child could be your brother is hard to believe. Larsa is as he should be. What's that, Vanna? Ah, taken the bait already, have they? Splendid. The Ocuria have given the princess her treaty blade. The gods have chosen their scribe to write history as they deem fit. Yes, and she with fresh nethersite to aid her. Bah, to hell with the Ocuria and their stones. What good? A power that cannot be harnessed. Baubles best suited for study, no more. <laughs> we conquered two kingdoms that you might study these baubles. Oh, I am grateful for the sacrifice. Without it, manufactured nethersite would have eluded us. An unrivaled weapon, I warrant you. <laughs> Tell me, Venar, have I not been an apt pupil? My counsel did but guide your able hand. Through power of man, the stones did you perfect. Yes. So much accomplished in six fleeting years. Man's fervor or all obstacles prevailing. Our lives are much too short. You undying might waste long centuries away, but we, I fear, cannot. Just so. Had we more time, we might have availed ourselves of more prudent measures. Your greatest work still lies before you. Not lightly will the Acuria allow you to wrest the reins of history from their grasp back into the hands of men. Indeed. What claim does Geron have on history's reins, seated on throne immortal, rent from time? For your ascendance vain, I offer prayer. 
May you attain all that which is your due. Attain it I shall. For too long have my deeds gone unrewarded. In tower on distant shore dreams the sun, Christ. Do these words mean aught to you? Didn't Redis say he was going to follow some other course? Maybe he found out something that can help. I'd rather stay out of that Sky Pirate's debt, thank you. What's wrong with Redis? I mean, if you can't trust your own kind, who can you trust? You're an expert on pirating now, are you? Oh, <laughs> no.